have you ever been in love? No one's ever asked me that in an interview before. I don't have to print it. Print what? That story that's written all over your face. I wonder how this all works, you know? Knowing when Mr. or Mrs. Wright comes along. This is me at my most inviting. Hmm, might need some work. Well, how about this? <laughs> Are you okay? This isn't a sex injury. I mean, not a weird one. Hey, why are you still talking, Rob? I don't know. It's like we've fast-forwarded years somehow. You've seen me at my most vulnerable. It's not that bad. So there's a senior engineer at work. Hi. Hi. He's like old, old. Would you like to have dinner sometime? I mean, listen to these questions he asked. Do you like to travel? What are your big dreams for your future self? What are you doing hiding out in R&D? <laughs> All perfectly solid dad questions. He's totally my dad. Even his smell. You smelled him? <laughs> What's going on here? Jesus, how hard can it be for two employed, home-owning homosexuals to start a family? I thought we would have quintuplets by now. I, I do have one more idea. It's a long shot. She came into our office recently and liked your file. But she's a little... So what? You know what? You should just meet her. <laughs> uh, so how much involvement do you think you'd like? It's hard to say. I travel a lot, but I come through New York twice a year, so no, maybe twice a year. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, and what's the traveling about? Work? No, I'm homeless. OK. OK. OK, cool. Awesome. Um, oh, stop pretending that doesn't throw you a little bit. Hey! Oh, my god. <laughs> Hi, good man. How are you? No complaints. Is it Mr. Ted gracing us tonight? No, actually, we broke up. It was a flash in the pan. Your instincts are very spot on, good man. It's sort of uncanny. Where I'm from, you learn to read a man. No, I, I wouldn't do that. What? Yeah. Here's your taxi. Let's go. What? I did not like him. Save it. Miss Mitchell. You're the first person to see these. You're having quadruplets. What? No, that's the same baby. It's a joke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the world is now. Our first six months were like as close to perfect as you can imagine. I even bought her an engagement ring. Then we got knocked off course. I slept with him. Love is trust, and you broke it. We met in a bar in the Caribbean. A couple of weeks after I visited him in London, he, he stood me up. <laughs> wow. I lost the book you wrote your dress in. So what are we doing here, Michael? I was hoping that we could carry on where we left off. I'm in a supermarket years ago looking for some peaches. If you can find love in a supermarket early in the morning, you know you can trust it. Want to grab breakfast? Want to know who I am? Here's who I am. Hi, Jeff. Surely there is someone out there who will take me for who I am. The good, the bad, the full story of me. She can't cross for cars. Maybe you could do something that isn't therapy, something fun, easy, you know, uh, a shared common ground. Do you have any hobbies that can be shared? Yeah. yeah. OK, don't do that. You made it impossible for me to be a part of your life, Dennis. I think you've always pushed me away. I'm sorry. You're right. Thank you. I'm an idiot. Want to keep playing? Yes. Lord orange sky. Poor guy. Ooh. Him. I noticed that he went out too fast. He's paying for it now. Come on, buddy. You can do it. <laughs> <sighs> Maybe you'd like to think about joining our club? I, I think I'd enjoy that. 
Young love, even for old people, can be surprisingly bountiful. Say you